My name is David Heusermann. I work at the Empa Materials and Technology Center of Robotics. My studies focused on product development, lightweight design and construction, as well as additive manufacturing. Empa is an interdisciplinary research institute of the ETH domain. It focuses on cutting-edge material and technology research. Every day, firefighters risk their life going into unknown environments. With this project, we developed a drone which can fly at extreme temperature environment and report video data back to the operator. Usually drones are not designed to fly at extreme temperatures. Used materials tend to melt or burn. That's why we have been looking for materials which can withstand the extreme temperatures. We have designed and manufactured a prototype of the fire drone tested it near a live fire source where the lightweight shell protected the internals from the extreme temperatures. We used the Sintratec SLS technology to manufacture parts which can withstand high operating temperatures. The drone is designed for operating at up to 200 degrees Celsius and the maximum operating temperature of Sintratec parts is around 180 degrees, so very close to our operating window. 3D printing technologies were used for various components in the drone. On one hand, the mounting frames for the protective aerogel shell, but also for mounting points of electronics, as well as the mechanical gearbox drive of the propellers. One of the greatest advantages of additive manufacturing is the integration of functions, which we were able to incorporate in our lens holder for the cameras, where we have the thread directly manufactured in the part. Compared to FDM printing, SLS allows to not even use any supports and the quality of the prints as well as the strength of the components is a great asset for drone construction. I had a great collaboration with Sintrotech the team was very flexible, supportive and the parts were manufactured very quickly and we could then finish the project in time for our test flights. <laughs>